The visit by the cabinet secretary in charge of internal security took Madari residents, especially those engaged in the business of brewing and selling changa, by surprise. In the shanties, the secretary was able to seize over 100 grams of the illegal brew and over 200 bags of raw material used in the making of changa. Na yule mwana inji anapatikana akiusika na biashara hiyo. Na nimesema mkono ya serikali ni refu. Jitairishe kuingia kwa tabu. The raid comes hot on the heels of a directive by the president earlier in the week to county commissioners to curb the runaway illicit brew abuse. The consumption of illicit brew and other drugs in the country has become a security threat, one that the cabinet secretary now says will no longer be tolerated. While efforts are being made in Nairobi to tame the illicit brew menace in Nyeri, consumers of the brews are freely frequenting the dens and drinking to their fill, and nothing, not even the president's order, will deter them. <laughs> The county commissioners have three months to bring about a visible change in the worrying trend, failure to which they may face the sack, that is, if the president makes real his threat. Brenda Wanga, NTV.